The conjoined Molo twins from the Philippines who came to Taiwan to be separated underwent their first procedure yesterday. The operation at Hualien City Hospital was scheduled to take five hours, but finished an hour early. More than 20 doctors and nurses came together to carry out the surgery. Though physically connected, the infants displayed different personality traits. Beforehand, the younger of the twins was already crying at the top of her lungs, while the other merely explored the room with her curious, sparkly eyes. The pair is expected to undergo two major operations before the end of May to separate them. The two children are like polar opposites. One cried and the other laughed at the same time. They are separate entities. So I think the creator is really very unbelievable. The primary separation surgery will leave a 36 square centimeter wound where the twins were once connected. Since there will be no epidermis, it is thus necessary to first insert a tissue expander into the infant's outer thighs, which is the purpose of this operation. Saline will then be daily injected into the expander to stimulate skin growth. The four-hour procedure will also require a colostomy to provide an artificial rectum for one of the twins. They share a rectum, so we need to construct an opening for the colon to help them go to the toilet. The colostomy prepares them for the separation surgery because, for one of the twins, we will need to reconstruct the rectum and anus. Anesthesia for infants may be the trickiest among all ages because young children are physically more fragile. From the twins' CAT scan, we learned that their circulatory systems are well connected to one another, so we need to anesthetize them individually. The tissue expansion surgery and colostomy began at 8.50 in the morning and ended at 12.30, an hour earlier than expected. However, the post-operative care and the pain the twins must endure are just the beginning of the many challenges that lie ahead along the road to a more normal, autonomous life.